Asalaamu As Alaikum. My dad hasn't been feeling too well and he's just resting at the moment. But subhanAllah, the door has just been knocking for hours and people have been coming and bringing him, you know, things to help his health, bringing vitamins, bringing honey, bringing dhikr. Imam Sheikh sent some food, alhamdulillah, and I tried some of it. And it just felt like such healing food, you know, subhanAllah, it was really like nice spicy wholesome like really kill all the toxins kind of food so alhamdulillah i really feel like a whole community is is looking after him so inshallah we'll be back tomorrow better healthier stronger <laughs> We spent some time with some Murids from the United States, some of whom were there visiting and others who were living in Medina Bay. It was really interesting to listen to their stories of how they got here and why they stayed. That's Sheikh Mahi School. It's an intensive. That's my school. Yeah. Sheikh Mahi School is an intensive. So what I'm doing in my school is, is uh, with Sheikh Mahi School, what his intention was, was to condense. Yes. You know, because my school is like 12 years. Yeah. So uh, his school is was to be put, just put in three years. So everything I learned okay. in the last 12 years is just put in three years. But then they, I think they changed it to five years. So, yeah, no, it was another school, I mean, that I don't know where it was. Mm -hmm. That, um... It was supposed to be like a like a secondary school. Like. Yeah, he's building the all girls school, which is next door. Really? Yeah. That's wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. When is that gonna be done? Um, it's still waiting. They, they it's just, still in the it's still in the planning. Yeah, no, no, no. They no. laid the foundation. Yeah, they laid here. Oh, he's just waiting on funding. When yeah, I got here, that funding. was one of the things he said. Look, I want to know. Yeah, that's would you one be of the things. Willing to help yeah. with the school? Because I know like, that he okay. because I know that he was working on the hospital and he yes. told us and he showed us everything that was when done already and Detroit. the plan. Yes. No, even when we went to go see him in his room, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and true. he showed us the plans and everything, but I didn't know that he was actually building for the girls. No. Okay. And it's a. Is that also going to be like living there, like how the dorm yeah. is? Yes, from what I remember him okay. telling me, he said that he wants to have a place where if you want to come and just live for a few months to a few years, you'll have a school mm -hmm. and you'll be able to have like a dormitory for adults. Yeah, he spoke to me about that too. Mm -hmm. He said for adults. Yeah. Well, yeah, so that makes sense because a lot of adults that come yeah, yeah. Yeah. and they want to, it's like we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shakespeare spoke you know? to me mm -hmm. about that. He said, I'm going to create a program where you know, teaching adults like the foreigners that want to come and yeah. study their adults, you know. And they have somewhere to stay and somewhere yeah, to be in the exactly. area where mm -hmm. you're living here in their school. Exactly. Yeah. That's wonderful. Very good. Mm -hmm. Is it, and all of these schools are they all free or yeah, free. So free. Yeah. Yeah. all of the schools are free everything. Yeah, I just should say since I've been here I haven't <laughs> paid not one dime. Yeah, oh my god. god. I oh, my god. Day. She I might have said that all because I remember so when I first came <laughs> Perfect. He yes. I did walk into that, but the minute came about, I was like, "Oh." God. <laughs> <laughs> so when I first came, because I was only supposed to stay for a year, so my mom was paying like three hundred a month, mm -hmm. you know. But then after I made the intention to stay longer, Shape was like, "No, you don't have to pay for anything anymore." He was like, mm -hmm. "Just," he was like, "You can stay in my house. You can eat with me whenever you want." Just go study. You don't have to pay for anything. Just take care of everything. Okay. And all the shit's right there. Yeah, I just studied. Much love. Much love. Much love. What was your program? Um, so I met Shimahi School, the Marquez. It's an intensive. We do Quran from Fajr till eight. Then from eight to one, we do the sciences. We take Hadith, Fiqh, Sirah, Tajweed, Tabir. We take Imla'u, Kira Atun. I don't know if there's any more. I think that's about it. Sira, yeah. And then, um, so that's from 8 to 1. So 1 to 4. So great. We do Ike. No, we don't do Ike. We started it, but we kind of dropped off. Um, so that's from 8 to 1 of sciences. Then 1 to 4, we back to Quran and to my group. So, and that's the five year program he was talking about, condensed from his like 12 year program so it's an intensive it's difficult but it's doable alhamdulillah mm -hmm. uh tuition is everything is paid for housing food mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. alhamdulillah mm -hmm. so 
Yeah, it's a real blessed place. Um, and if you really put the effort into it, you'll succeed, inshallah. And you will learn very fast, inshallah. Sure. Yeah. When did you come? Um, I got here. I got here March 2020, the start of Corona. So it was a little <laughs> weird because like everything kind of shut down. Schools, yeah. the daughters and stuff like the match just shut down. I heard for the first yeah. time in like ever, ever, ever. yeah, mm. since it was built. Yeah. Since it was built. Uh, so my experience was when I got here was a little different. So um, but when everything picked back up, um, yeah, it was good. I was um impressed by. I was impressed by the shakes, to be honest, their generosity. Mm. You know, they, I'm from yes. America, I'm from Washington, D.C. Yes. Um, I'm from black America, you know, you don't invite strangers into your home. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, you know, she might have met me once at the airport on Christmas, and then I got here, he put me in his house with the rest of the Tali Bay, so I was, that blew my mind, you know, his, he has his wife and children in the same house with, like, all of his Tali Bay, so mm. that was just mind-blowing to me. Sure on top of, you know, paying tuition, food, you know, all expenses paid, so, like, these people are, yeah, they're different. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they're different. May Allah bless them. I mean. Um, Greg and Jenna. I so, mean. Yeah, that's, that's what was the most shocking to me, surprising. Mm. And the level of Islam here, you know, the message is the center of everything. Mm. And so, um, it's easy here for me to practice my Islam versus back home, you know. You got to kind of go out your way to be Muslim. Mm. But um, in the knowledge here, yeah, so... I'm hungry. Oh, that's my expert. Well, are, are you the first to be a family? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the first in my family. I'm not the first Muslim in my family, but the first to like go abroad, study Islam. Mm, yeah. Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah. what uh, what made you come? What was behind the decision? Um, I wanted to know more about Islam because I had took my shahada, but I felt still kind of far from far removed from I guess the core of it. Mm. Yeah, um, America would be difficult, you know, it was kind of hard to do it in America, and then Allah, he just opened the opportunity. One of the brothers here, his name is uh, Ishaq Majid, he's, his daughter's go to say the Kuba school. He was like, man, we're going to go see Sheikh Mahi. I'm like, who's Sheikh Mahi? He like, man, he's Sheikh from Senegal, scholar from Senegal, so I'm like, can I come? He's like, of course. So I met um, Sheikh Mahi at Christmas time mm -hmm. at the hotel, at like one of the hotels in New York. And so um, from there, yeah, it was just the vibe Sheikh Mahi gave me, and then the generosity. I was like, Sheikh, can I come study? And Senegal just said, come tomorrow. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, tomorrow? I can't come tomorrow. <laughs> so he's like, man, you know, you get yourself together, do what you got to do, come. And so Mashallah. Alhamdulillah, three months later, I'm here. I'm studying, Alhamdulillah. 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 All praises to Allah. My name is Kaira Abu Majid Cise. Um, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, in the United States of America. I've moved to Senegal, West Africa, and Medina Bay twice. My first time was in 2002, October of 2002, and I stayed until October of 2004. And this time I moved in October of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, my first time moving here was uh, based off of an invitation from Sheikh Hassan Sise when he had visited mm -hmm. Detroit mm -hmm. and he informed me, if you want to come home, come home. <laughs> said, you're mashallah. welcome. So, mashallah, I moved to Senegal with a one-way ticket for me and my daughter at the time that was about nine years old and we both had one-way tickets and just came. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Interesting experience. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Hassan set me up to work in his clinic at the time, Shifa Laskam. And I worked in the clinic, and Aliyah went to his school, the Dadaji. She studied Quran. Um, and we lived here and loved being here um, the entire two years and didn't want to go back. <laughs> but Sheikh Hassan insisted that I go back and go to college, go to university. Um, so I had to leave. <laughs> Uh, mashallah, and Aliyah left with me in 04, and about a month later, she said, Umi, I want to go home. <laughs> she didn't like the rules of America. She was used to the comforts and the freedom of being home in Senegal. Mm. Her formative years were here, so she was really Senegalese, just kind of looked American. <laughs> um, mashallah, but 
I moved back this time and it was just me. And I was grateful that I was invited back again, as usual, on the day line. Shaking my hand for me, come home if you want to come home. You're welcome. Alhamdulillah, he was able to help me with the plates. And I now am living back here. And one of the things that I love the most is the opportunity to remember a lost phone while in a better manner. Um, and to be given that opportunity for people that don't have to help me at all, but they do. From Sheikh Hassan to Sheikh Mahi and Imam Sheikh Tajani. People that we find really exciting that they even remember your name and the sound of your voice. You can call and greet them at any time of the morning. They answer your call and they know who you are. They answer your text message, your emails, and they love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they don't have to. Like they don't have to, but they do. And girl, mashallah. <laughs> But for that, we are immensely grateful. Mm. I wish all the time that there was a way that I could help them as much as they've helped me, and I mm. don't know how it ever would be. And as Sheikh Ibrahim, I would always say, well, Sheikh Hassan always told us, he said, was, go where Allah says go, mm. stop where Allah says stop. Mm. And one of the best things you can ask for is for Allah to give you the God. So, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah, mm. that's one of the things I love about being here, is that mm. opportunity to learn more about that part of life. alaikum, mm. yeah. Wa alaikum salam My name is Tessleen Joseph. I am from Detroit, Michigan in uh, the United States. I moved here in January. And the thing that I love the most here is the sense of community and Islam is taught in such a pure way and it's uh, very precise and it's very in-depth. Mm. So alhamdulillah, you can learn all facets of Islam here. So that's what I like the most about it and everyone is very welcoming and helpful and everyone helps everyone else it's a very good and deep sense of community so I like it. and you've got children here as well i do have children here i have five children at the moment here um, and they all go to school um, four study quran and one is an arabic school Mashallah. And how is it for them sort of moving or have they well, always lived older here? Well, my children have been living here for a couple of years uh, already and we, I moved here with the younger children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they, it took a little minute for them to adjust, but now they're no problem. They're already picking up the language. They're getting really, you know, pretty well in the um, Quran and everything. So they like it. Amazing. So they really do like it. And they come home every day telling me something else about what happened <laughs> or where they're at in the Quran or... You know where, what their teachers said to them, or what's going on in the school. Mm -hmm. So they they really like it. They like it. Oh, and then my son, he has he's the only boy. Five girls, one boy. Wow. So he has friends. Finally, that's his age. That he can play with on a regular basis. Other boys is around his age, so he's ecstatic about that. Mm. So yeah. Are they boarding, or they live with you? No, they live with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they live with me. But at the school, you know, he plays with them, and plus our, our neighbors. Children, he paid with them.